Number 40. Predict which acid in each of the following pairs is the stronger and explain your reasoning for each. And then we have letter C out of the bunch. So we have to figure out whether HSO3- or HSO4- um, is the stronger acid. Okie dokie. Now in this case, we just have to kind of pick a trend that will work with our situation here. Now we won't look at any binary acids because binary means that you just have a hydrogen and another element not two other elements. But if I see that I have hydrogens in the front, oxygens in the back, and I have a, a random element in the middle, and that's for both of them, right? Hydrogen in the front, oxygen in the back, and a, and a random sulfur in the middle. Those are oxoacids. So we're going in the realm of oxoacids, right? Oxo meaning oxygen, acid meaning that it has a hydrogen, and then it has, you know, that other element. Now in this case, um, they're the same element. So I can't use a periodic table trend to help me figure out, you know, which one is more acidic. But the only difference between these two is the number of oxygens. So if you have the same element, which we do in the middle, you will go by the amounts of oxygens. Now the rule is, is that the greater, so the greater oxygens, or we'll just say the greater number of oxygens in your oxo acid means that you have a higher acidity. So that's like the easy way out. So basically, four oxygens beat out three oxygens. So HSO4 minus is your stronger acid. But, you know, by just saying the greater number of oxygens is more acidity, that doesn't really explain it in terms of a chemical, you know, in actual chemistry. So now this comes to the actual reasoning of formal charge. With this, if I just add one more thing here, if you have the greater number of oxygens, that just means that you have a higher formal charge on the central atom. And the central atom, in these cases, are always going to be the atom that's the random element in the middle. So that's how you would basically explain that. Now, if we actually figured out what the, uh, the formal charge is, this is kind of like review. Because we did formal charge in a different um, chapter, right? When we did like Lewis structures. So... Remember, hydrogens are always a plus one. So plus one, plus one. Oxygens are going to be your negative twos. And in this case, we don't know what the charge of the sulfur is. That's what we're trying to solve for. So we'll say X. So you say to yourself, okay, so you have a plus one charge for hydrogen and there's one hydrogen. And the same thing for the other side as well. For the oxygen, you have negative two, and there's three of them, so I'll write that down, right? And then now you have one sulfur times by x. So I could just say plus x, right? And remember, both of these are going to equal the overall charge. Now for both of them, there was a negative one in the upper right-hand corner. So this charge, is really, and maybe I'll just say negative one, is gonna equal negative one. And the same thing here. So now all I gotta do is just solve for x. So if I just quickly do this, right, this would be x, let's see, negative six plus one, I think, right? Yeah, negative six, am I doing this right? Yeah, negative six plus one, that's a negative five. So we have a negative five equals a negative one. So just move the, you know, the X over and not the X over the negative five. So plus five and plus five. So we get X equals a plus four charge for this sulfur. So we have a plus four. And then if we do the same thing over here, it becomes X, this is negative six plus one. So the same, same thing. Oh, hold on. There is not three here. Did anybody catch that mistake? There we go. Negative four, that's a negative eight now. 
So negative 8, this would be now a negative 7 equals a negative 1, and then we have x equals a plus 6, and there you go. Since this is a higher oxidation state or a formal charge, this overall oxoacid is also, you know, more acidic. And there you go. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And I'm looking forward to helping out with more. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.